I have 75 plus books that I unhauled today. Hey bookaholics, it's Isabel and welcome to another video. So it's actually been a little while since I filmed a video. I've been a little bit busy and things have been just changing really quickly. For one, I got my hair cut and dyed. This is actually my natural hair color. I decided to go back to it because red hair is just a little too high maintenance. So I went back to my natural hair and cut it because long hair is so annoying sometimes. As you can tell from the title of this video, I'm going to be doing a massive book unhaul. The reason I'm doing this is because I am moving. It's a big step in my life. Like it's it's scary, it's exciting, I'm so nervous, I'm so anxious, but I'm really really excited for this next step in my life and one of those things is I need to unhaul a lot of my books, try to either sell them to get some more money for this big change or give them away or figure out what to do with them. And I just can't bring all of my books with me. So I really need to narrow down what I can keep and what I can part with and be happy with saying goodbye to. So that is what this video is. I'm gonna be doing a massive unhaul and I'm really excited and I wanna take you guys along with me. It's gonna be a long video, so let's just get right into it. I'm going to start on this side. This is my unread books. So. I think I can kind of figure out what I don't want to read based on what I haven't read yet. I feel like the ones that I have read are going to be a little bit more tough to determine which one I want to keep and which one I want to give away. So I'm going to start with my unread books and we'll just see how it goes. So let's do this. <laughs> narrowed it down. I still have quite a bit on here, but I've taken off six books from that shelf. So I'm really excited for that. Okay, so next shelf. on this shelf but I've gotten rid of some. The next shelf here um, you probably won't be able to see so I'm just gonna go quickly through these and get some books. pretty happy with what I chose and to unhaul here. So that is all my unread shelves. 
shelf. I have a lot of books here on my floor and it's kind of amazing but also kind of sad and I'm just kind of a little bit freaking out right now but it's time to get into my red shelf here so this one's going to hurt. <laughs> So like, this shelf is staying the exact same way. Now it's on to the third shelf. a lot. <laughs> I have 75 plus books that I unhauled today and <sighs> let's get right into the books here. So I'm unhauling The Lord of the Rings, The Fellowship of the Ring by J.R.R. Tolkien, When No One Is Watching by Alyssa Cole, Less by Andrew Sean Greer, Love Her or Lose Her by Tessa Bailey, it's kind of a funny story by Ned Zazzini. The Raven Boys by Maggie Seawater. The Bells by Danielle Clayton. Of Fire and Stars by Audrey Colthurst. Arusha and the End of Time by Roshani Chisaki. The Hazelwood by Melissa Albert. Shadow and the Fox by Julie Kagwa. War Cross by Mary Lou. I'm also unhauling all of the Sarah Mass. So A Court of Thorns and Roses, A Court of Mist and Fury, and A Court of Wings in a ruin are all going. The Last Magician and the Devil's Thief by Lisa Maxwell. The Last Namsara and the Cage Queen 
by Kristen Cicerelli, Ace of Shades by Amanda Foodie, and I'm also unhauling Jodie Picoult and Samantha Van Leer's book Between the Lines and Off the Page. Twilight the Special Edition, Life and Death, The Sun is Also a Star by uh, Nicola Yoon, Ten Blind Dates by Ashley Elston, Shooter by Carolyn Pignett, Austin Land by Shannon Hale, I Wish You All the Best by Mason Deaver, Hero by Perry Moore, Definition of Undefinable Things by Whitney Taylor. This Song Will Save Your Life by Leela Sales. Music of What Happens by Bill Koningsberg. True Letters from a Fictional Life by Kenneth Logan. Me Before You by Jojo Moyes. The Field Guide to the North American Teenager by Ben Phillip. Asking For It by Louise O'Neill. I'll Be the One by Lila Lee. Field Notes on Love by Jennifer E. Smith. Foolish Hearts by Emma Mills. The Bookish Life of Nina Hill by Abby Waxman, 99% Mine by Sally Thorne, Aisha at Last by Yumza Zaludin, Picture Us in the Light by Kelly Loy Gilbert, The Sky is Everywhere by Jandy Nelson, A List of Cages by Robin Rowe, Always Never Yours by Emily Will Wilburley and Austin Sega Brogman, American Panda by Gloria Chow, Love a la Mode by Stephanie Kate Strom, Roomies by Christina Lauren. The Flat Chair by Beth O'Leary. Pride by Ibi Zoboy. Starry Eyes by Jen Bennett. A Trick of the Light by Louise Metzger. An Abundance of Catherines by John Green. Turtles All the Way Down by John Green. Prior's Cross by Lisa McMahon. What I Lost by Alexandra Ballard. A Girl Like That by Tanaza Bathina. Will Grayson, Will Grayson by John Green and David Levithan. City of Ghosts by um, Victoria Schwab, Looking for Alaska by John Green, and Tash Hart's Tolstoy by um, Catherine or Orbsby. And then the last few books I have here, well not few books, the last big pile of books here were probably one of the harder ones but easiest ones to unhaul because I'm still kind of having doubts that I will do it, but I also kind of feel relieved that I'm doing it. Prepare yourself this will be a shock. So The Immortal Instruments, the first books here, City of Bones, City of Ashes, and City of Glass are going, which is honestly kind of emotional right now, but they're going because just don't need them anymore. Also the last three books in The Immortal Instruments, City of Fallen Angels, City of Lost Souls, and City of Heavenly Fire are also going. Also going is Clockwork Angel, Clockwork Prince, Clockwork Prince and Clockwork Princess. I'm also saying goodbye to Lady Midnight, Lord of Shadows, and Queen of Air and Darkness. I'm also getting rid of the Red Scroll of Magic and the Lost Book of the White. Then I'm also saying goodbye to Chain of Gold, which I actually did read, but I read it as an audiobook and I can read the next few ones as an audiobook too, so I don't have to like spend money on it. So it just, it's time to say bye. And then The Bane Chronicles is also going, which I don't have too many sentimental feelings towards, so like it's okay. This was a big step for me, honestly. This was, oh my god. I feel happy, but I also feel so like soul crushed and heartbroken, but also so relieved. That was a lot of work. I did it, so I'm really happy about that. That's the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sure I hurt a few of you with my unhauling today, especially the Cassandra Clares. That is it for this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Let me know how you felt about all the books I unhauled today. I'm overwhelmed. I'm sure you guys are overwhelmed, so let me know down below. Subscribe if you haven't yet. I'll talk to you guys later in another video. Bye!